going on everyone? It's Mr. I got my name on my chain, Jakoji script, Jakoji link, Jakoji everything. I've been working real hard lately to bring some new stuff to the website. I'm excited about this 6mm diamond cube and link drop and because I got to do what I do, let's do a comparison of the 5mm size versus 6mm size because you guys have been smashing that like button. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the new tiny boss cross with diamonds yes tiny size i have a huge launch of boss crosses coming out soon jacoji pieces are fire you mess with the sleeping bear you're gonna get slept with that being said Let's get started. In my opinion, the Miami Cuban Link is one of the best bracelets to wear. I recommend them a lot because I personally like to wear them. It's a go-to style for me. It's between the Jacoji Curb and the Miami Cuban Links for bracelets. I like the fact that they have the weight. If you appreciate gold weight around the wrist like I do, and you appreciate the quality, the Miami Cuban Links for you, and especially my biggest thing, it sits relatively flush to the skin. It doesn't protrude too out when you're going to grab your phone and stuff like that. I like kind of that subtle uh, feel for the bracelet. I think it's important, but it's up to you. That's with the gold versions, the Miami Cuban Link, you a lot of times just seen with gold, but when you add diamonds, it changes things a little. Rule number two in the Jacoji Handbook of Rules is yes, there is a difference between a five millimeter and six millimeter. Every size you go up makes a huge difference. Yes, in price, because there's more gold, in this case, more diamonds, but in my opinion, it is worth it if you can. I'll put a side by side of the five millimeter versus the six millimeter so you can see. These do look bigger on video and camera. I try my absolute best, but until you actually see them in person to gauge the size and feel the weight, I'm doing my best with these videos and these B-rolls. I'll put also the plain version so you can see. Sometimes with diamonds, you might not really see it clearly with just the yellow gold, that nice shine richness of the Italian gold. You'll see kind of the difference between the two. So, and with the price, there's going to be a big price difference between that five millimeter and six millimeter. One of the big difference between the five millimeter and the six millimeter, obviously the six millimeter has bigger links, which means we fit three diamonds per side and the five millimeter has two diamonds per side. Both look really icy. If you ask me, I'll show them in the sunlight or they're disco balling, but that's the huge difference something. So if you want that completely flooded look, the six millimeter is going to offer that a little bit more because there's more diamonds on those links. It's more flooded, but the five millimeter also for the size of it is the diamonds I use for these Miami Cuban links. I honestly use VS G color diamonds because you deserve it. And I want you to be icy when you're wearing it and people be like, dang, that is a nice bracelet because they are small but let me tell you diamond cuban links are the goals forget diamond tennis bracelets diamond cuban links are the goals when owning like when you want to talk about having a nice piece of jewelry a nice diamond cuban link bracelet has to be on your bucket list at least it's on mine a nice 10 12 millimeter diamond cuban link bracelet sign me up one day I will own one. But when you're talking about price point, because it depends on what you want, the confidence of a Diamond Cuban Link, no matter if it's five millimeter and 10 millimeter, you're gonna walk in and you're gonna feel like you got a million bucks around your wrist because you got that diamonds. That's what diamonds offer you. I'll be straightforward and honest with you guys. I make more money when you buy a Diamond Cuban Link than I do when you buy just a gold Cuban Link. That is just the facts. It depends on what you want though. If you're looking just the most bang for your buck, you could go with perhaps a seven millimeter plain Jane gold Cuban link over a five millimeter diamond Cuban link. That might be the smarter thing, but if you really want that ice in your life, then you're gonna have to spend the money and go with those diamonds. It's just the disco ball feeling alone, like I said, is the ultimate confidence booster. So when you're thinking, should I go with something a little bit wider, more gold, better resale value, better investment initially? Yeah, that's the smarter look to, uh, way to go with a seven millimeter or something a little bit bigger compared to a flooded piece. But as you guys could see in the sunlight, these pieces are looking nice. As far as sizing overall, the five and six millimeter are truly subtle everyday sizes from way downtown to six millimeter. You guys see it, it's nothing too overpowering. It's something you could wear every single day. That's why I like them. If you're looking for a bigger flex, then go plain Jane gold, go seven millimeters and up, you'll be glad you did. You don't want to buy it and spend all this money on a five millimeter diamond cubing link and get it and be like, well, this is way too small. This is for my girlfriend or my wife. That is a five millimeter size. It's nothing too overpowering, honestly. But if you're looking for something nice, get that Jacoji Ice and Jacoji Diamonds. Hit a little bit different. They're shining like they should. Let me know down below if you guys like the diamond cuban links or you're going a little bit more value with just the plain gold cuban links. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.